Hey YouTube, thought I'd give an update of just all my watermelon vines I have going on. So, here's the, um, these are two vines from the watermelon seed, direct so watermelon seed update. Um, yeah, you can see a female flower already formed, but it was um, bloomed earlier. So, but this is one plant. In this space is over here. Nice thick stalk. Sweet ass running around with nothing. It. But as I said, that's one plant. And then this is one plant. You can see the different type of foliage. See this leaf and then that. So maybe some big melons that come from this plant right here. This one is starting to spread also. There you can see its base. So the main plant you see around this, around here, is, is the uh, plant that's over there and not right here. Right here. This is another watermelon from the direct so watermelon seed up here. And they're beginning to they're beginning to run. And I just wanted to show you uh Basically, also the timing to, to pick watermelons. There's, there's only one surefire time to pick watermelons, guys. And it's when this umbilical dries out. Now, if you can look on here, you can see the tendril is dry, of course. All my tendrils are dry at this point. I don't even go by the tendril sign. So you can see the umbilical runs here, and this is his tendril. I don't go by the tendril sign. If you see on here, the umbilical is not dry and it's not ready to be picked. We come to this Charleston Gray. It's ripening sun, as I mentioned in the previous update, the drying of the leaf. If you look at yesterday's video, this leaf had more green in it. If you look at previous videos, it was even more green and more green. So this stem, I assume, would dry out. This tendril is dried out. But then you can see on the umbilical, we have a drying of the umbilical going on. Right here. So that, that, that watermelon is, is ready to pick, but I'll wait for this. I'll wait for this whole leaf to dry out. I'll give that Charleston Gray about one to two more days. This is a fresh Charleston Gray. This Jubilee here is also ready to be picked. You can see the bee pollination marks. Then you can see the beginning of the drying of the umbilical. See these little marks? It's starting to begin to dry, meaning easy, easier separation of the melon. So if I, if I were to pull that, it would, it would easily snap off the melon. Check this one. So here, this is the largest jubilee of my patch. Uh, tendril is dried out, but oh, it's starting to dry. The umbilical, if you can see that there, it's the beginning of drying. So it's beginning to dry, and then you can see at the top of the umbilical, in this little crevice here, beginning to dry. So this jubilee is ready to go, also. I'll leave that for a couple more days and wait for those brown spots to to become super brown. This Charleston Gray is this umbilical. It's beginning to dry also. You can look in there. I don't want to snap the vine, so you can see it starts browning up. Now, this is the, the beginning sign of it browning up. You eventually notice that it'll, it'll become actually browned. And I'll show you on the cow sweet watermelon.
those small brown splotches will eventually turn to this. And then this will also become even bigger. So the longer I leave it on there, it'll actually, it'll just eventually just dry out totally on its own. But I'm not gonna wait for it to totally dry out. I just want, I just want a decent amount of drying. You know, here I have more fruit set. This is a fruit set and I don't think this one's set because of the size. You see that's, that's how small that is and launch that one in. They were, they were formed on the same day, those flowers. I have a cow sweet, super large. Jubilee over here, a large one. And then a smaller jubilee over here. And I have this crimson sweet. Alright, guys. So, it's my update for today. Surefire method of harvesting watermelons. I will do a, a update, part one. Uh, Maybe tomorrow or within a couple of days, I'll wait for these, those brown spots to become even more dry. Now I'll just pluck it right for the melon, guys. Thank you.